Well, I want to thank everyone in, on, on the sports luncheon committee and, um, you know, for recognizing um, Heather throughout this fall season. Uh, she's, she's done a great job. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about, about Heather. And, and I guess we'll include the um, NCAA uh, championship. Um, that was what, two weeks ago? Or <laughs> all, all my weeks are now blending in together. Um, but Heather, it, it's been a, a, a privilege and an honor to um, coach Heather over the last four and a half years. And we still have an indoor and outdoor season to go. I've watched her grow from a gangly, inexperienced um, teenager from Peabody, Mass, to a mature, strong young women, woman. And, and that's part of our program um, goals is to you know, help develop strong women to graduate from our uh, program. Um, but Heather is, without a doubt, the greatest middle distance athlete um, in the history of our cross country track and field programs, um, but also in the Atlantic 10 Conference and in, in the New England area um, for the New England Championships. And, it, and she's proved this by her dominance in, in the conference. And she has set um, records in the 800 and the mile um, that have stood for some, some more as old as 26 years. But now, because since Heather came on campus, she's been telling me for years that she is not a cross-country athlete. <laughs> so, and I have fought hard and long convincing her that she is a cross-country athlete. And, and now, she has proven to, to the running community and to the UMass community that yes, indeed, Heather is the New England champion, she's the, Ath the Atlantic 10 champion, uh, she was fifth at the regionals in Buffalo, uh, which qualified her for the NCAAs. At the NCAA championships, you know, she placed 26 out of 255 athletes. Um, by doing so, it was 6,000 meter run, and as Jillian Jacuba, who traveled with us, can attest, the um, course is pretty soggy. And um, so all Jillian had to do, to do was run from point to point, because she had to cross fields and stuff. She likes indoor better, where she can just stand <laughs> and watch. But uh, after the race, she's like, oh my god, I didn't think I could make it. My legs were collapsing. But basically, the course it had rained when we arrived on Wednesday night. Um, it was pouring out, and they didn't even allow anyone to practice on the course on Thursday because of the course conditions, and they, they didn't want to ruin the course. Um, so by Saturday morning, it was in much better shape, um, but it was still soft. But Heather went through uh, probably at, at, out of the top 40, because that's who they give All-American status to. Um, she was the slowest person in the top 40 going that hit the 5,000 meters, which was actually a PR for her. She was 17 flat. But what she did manage to do over the last 1,000 meters is she had the second fastest time in the country covering the last 1,000 meters, which brought her from somewhere in the 40s and 50s up to 26. And she was passing people like they were standing still. She was flying. So she had the second fastest last thousand. And the other thing that she did in flow track, um, keeps track of these things, but they, she was considered the most improved distance runner, um, the third most improved distance runner in the country at nationals. She um, only placed 39th in the region the year before she went up to fifth, and then she went to 26 at national. So she did a great job. And the other thing that happened, um, there was bad weather coming in, which hit Louisville in the afternoon. And thank God we weren't outside. But 50 mile an hour winds, and and it's rained, pelting rain. And um, so what they did is they moved the national championship race up to 9 a.m. 
to avoid. So not only, <laughs> it was early. So at 4.30 of the day of the championships, Heather was outside doing her wake up morning run and I was, luckily we had a kitchenette where we stayed and I was inside cooking her, the real oatmeal, not the instant stuff. Um, but that, it was a great experience out there. Um, but I think Heather, you know, she has, she's proven to everyone that she is, is one of the top distance athletes, um, obviously in the Northeast and also, you know, at the national level. Um, the other thing that happened in Louisville, um, well, what really happened was the eight days before Louisville at the regionals in Buffalo. And I think Coach Jackson came and talked about that race. Um, and I think we had the toughest weather conditions of all the regions that you have to run on that date to qualify for nationals. Um, but the other thing that it was minus one wind chill when they were racing. Um, and the day before, uh, the course was just chewed up. It had rained for three weeks straight in Buffalo. And the course was in horrible shape. But that night, so it was really muddy on Thursday and the race was on Friday. That night, it got into the low teens. And so now your muddy, bumpy course is frozen. So it was, a very dangerous course and every single time they would put a foot down on that course it was very unstable and it took a lot out of the um, Northeast athletes so at nationals only two only three women from the Northeast actually <coughs> became All-Americans one of them was a UNH kid um, Ellie Purrier who was one of the top seated athletes going in and she was considered a favorite a favorite to win um she came in 18th and um another like the men's syracuse team they were in the top five nationally when they finished their race they were only 15th so n nobody from the northeast actually shot was had shining performances except for our our heather um, a-10 champion this this uh, year by 28 seconds. There's no, no, no one there to challenge her. Uh, at the region, she was fifth. At nationals, she beat, she was third in our region at nationals. And Providence College, who are top and um, always in a national contention. Uh, their top two kids were only in the 60th, 60th um, in the 60s, and their number one runner was 92nd. So it, it just shows you, you know, how well you know Heather had had, had done. Um, so all American, all A10. Uh, her academics will be um, uh, spoken about, but I just want you to know that, um, and I made some notes here just so I won't forget. But Heather's achievements. Are pretty remarkable and her her growth with UMass especially when you consider that she does not enjoy a stable family life she grew up in a single parent household hold which lacked any type of emotional or economical support system that most college students enjoy uh, she has always had to work part-time jobs while she's been here as a three-sport athlete She's always working during the year and during the summer she works, she holds on uh, down full-time jobs and usually multiple. Um, so our program and our athletic department, uh, we foster what I call a true family atmosphere, which Heather has embraced enthusiastically since the, the moment she stepped on campus. And her support system is our UMass family. She has completely immersed herself into our academic and our athletic community, and she's had a positive effect on everyone who knows her. I think that includes administration, her coaches, and her teammates. Um, and I just want to finish with that I consider Heather is a, a treasure and a joy to coach, and I feel very fortunate 
to have her in my life. And I'm not just her coach, but I consider Heather my friend. I teach in the higher ed program, higher, higher education administration. We have a retired faculty member from our department back in Kevin Brennan there, after see him. Um, so, um, so I get to talk about the class class experience with Heather, although as Julie, Julie looked a little sheepish when she met me today because we have a Thursday afternoon class and uh, Heather's had to miss a few. Um, <laughs> but um, one of the things that I wanted, uh, which comes out clearly in what Julie was talking about too, is Heather is one of the most hardworking people that, um, that I've ever met. and. Um, it's not easy to be so committed in so many different areas. So not only is she doing these amazing things on the field, but she's also, although she's referred to as a red shirt senior, she's actually started graduate school. She's in a master's program um, starting this fall, um, which is a pretty big transition. Even people who've done really well as an undergrad, moving into a graduate program is really can be, can be pretty challenging. Um, and she's also, um, she also has a 20 hour a week assistantship in the Office of Student Success over in the provost's office. So most of our other students are really, again, that first semester of graduate school. They're, they're making, the, making the transition academically and also working assistantships. And that's more than many of them can handle that first semester. And then you throw on top of that this incredible um, commitment on um, to running as well, it's really quite, um, it's really quite remarkable. Um, so one of the things about studying higher ed, and, and Heather's really interested in um, an ongoing career in sports administration, um, and I think a lot of this comes from her personal experience, this idea that um, for her, running and school have been this wonderful way of, of moving from a, a tough situation growing up, but um, Early on, you said that, uh, you know, your, I think it was your junior year in high school, you found Jack. Um, and, you know, that, that together you've really just accomplished this amazing, amazing feat of, of um, just through, dil through incredibly hard work, um, being able to be such a success on the field, in the classroom, and with, um, with her peers and um, the other folks the other folks around. Um, so one of the things that I really um, appreciate about about Heather is that um, she's really, uh, throughout her role, she's really committed to making the world a more equitable place. Um, and this means, um, and promoting student success. So her assistantship is around, um, grad, graduate assistantship is around student success. Um, and in terms of equity, she wants to look at, at College athletics. How do we work with first-generation college students? A lot of our there are a lot more folks that are coming who have no background in higher ed. They don't have parents and siblings who've gone through that whole experience before. And how do we really help them be successful? Um, and so Heather's in her writing and in class, what really comes across is her passion to help um, folks really make that transition um, and also to make the um, athletic world. Um, more equitable and um, whether it's gender or whether it's um, helping protect um, helping helping bring our bring our our, our athletes along um, in a variety of ways which Julie talked about so um, so eloquently um, so on a, on, a, on a more personal note I've been really enjoying getting to know um, Heather she's been I, I ran I was talking earlier I ran uh, track and cross country in high school and college and um, Heather's been very generous about letting me re reminisce about that. <laughs> um, among other things, in the early 80s, running on the Curry Hicks track, um, you know, I can't remember, 18 to the two mile or something, 18 laps, or it was like 20, 20 laps, and uh, winter track was not my favorite thing. <laughs> um, but anyway, she's been really lovely in terms of being, for me, being able to reconnect with some things from her things from my past. Um, and I really thinking about, I'm, I love teaching, I love my students, I love seeing where they end up um, because 
the two years of, uh, you've obviously made a huge transition over your four years as an undergrad, but the two years as a graduate student, being able to see people come in the door and, and two years later just leave as these much more uh, mature, mature folks. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing where you're going to go next and where you're going to make your impact in terms of um, helping students. Um, I'm sure that it's going to be really wonderful, um, wonderful to watch. Um, and uh, the other thing is that Heather also has a very adventurous side to her. So she has a long list of things on her, her bucket list, which, uh, which include hiking in the Himalayas. Um, she wants to get her pilot's license um, and go skydiving. So, um, so stay tuned. <laughs> I think <they'll laughs> maybe I wasn't supposed to say that one. <laughs> um, but I just want to congratulate Heather on such a wonderful season and, um, and just being an epitome of what we're looking for in terms of student athletes. <laughs> Like I always say, it's always nice to see everybody and catch up and know what's going on in everybody's life. Um, and I want to thank Coach Julie and Kate for speaking on my behalf. You know, I'm really fortunate to have a really strong moment in my life. I got to travel with Jillian, and me and Jillian and Coach Julie always have a grand time <laughs> on the road. And um, I really enjoy Kate's class. I'm happy that I'm in a program that um, has really supported mentors and. It's really exciting to be learning about things that I've always been passionate about, but never really could connect them to a career. So like starting to make those connections, even if they're like all over the place. <laughs> um, but uh, like Coach Lou was mentioning, the last two, or actually this cross country season has probably been like the toughest cross country season of my life. Because not only was I like really hesitant to do cross country, but this season has been filled with like really treacherous hills and mountain runs and um, really horrible conditions. So it really was a test of everyone on the team's strength and I'm happy we pulled through. Um, and my one goal in the beginning of the season was to qualify for national. So I'm just happy to have been able to have the opportunity to go. I made a, really, a lot of great friends while I was there. So I'll get to see them all indoor and outdoor and I'm excited to be in conditions that do not include ice, mud, rain, or, <laughs> or wind, at least until outdoor track. <laughs> um, but I'm also excited for um, how our, the rest of our track team is going to do. We had a big year of recruiting, so we have a lot of good girls. I got to lift with them this morning. I usually lift with the distance girls, so um, it was really cool watching them put up weight. Some of the throwers put up more weight than the guys, and it's really making them mad. <laughs> um, so, uh, like, also, Coach Julie and Kate were mentioning um, uh, my journey to UMass has been obviously up and down, but I've um, really blossomed since I've been here, and I've become a lot more mature and um, a lot more focused on my future, and uh, I'm really lucky to have the support system that I have, so I thank you all because I wouldn't have been able to do it without um, everyone at UMass helping me along the way. Uh, and I hope that I can give back somehow in the future, whether that be in administration or um, just figuring out new ways to help out. So uh, thank you again, and stay tuned for Indoor and Outdoor, because we're going to do some great things.